Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. The Duke of Sussex has always struggled to find his place inside the royal family, his ex-girlfriend has revealed. One of Prince Harry's former girlfriends praised the Duke of Sussex and Meghan Markle for mustering up the courage to leave the royal family for a better life in the United States. The California-based couple is set to make bombshell revelations about the reasons why they left the firm in their explosive Netflix documentary series, which will be released Thursday, December 8. Catherine Almani, who purportedly dated the prince in 2006, believes the couple made the right call. Speaking from her home on the Spanish island of Majorca, Miss Almani told OK. Meghan and Harry look very happy together and I wish them all the best. I am so proud that Harry had the courage to move to the States and I think he really needed to do that to finally be free. She then jokingly added, I have nothing but respect for Meghan and the fact that Harry is with her shows that he does have more than one type after all. He is clearly not only interested in blondes. Catherine Amani reportedly met Prince Harry in May 2006 at Art Bar in London, where Harry was wearing an Australian style hat that made me laugh, Miss Amani told The Sun. Intrigued by his outfit, the Real Housewives of DC alum said she left Harry stunned by asking him, what are you doing looking like a t asterisk 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 in that? While dating him, Miss Amani said she found out Harry had always dreamt of being normal and felt suffocated by royal life. I did feel sorry for Harry and how little freedom he had to be himself. He seemed a little lost, and I think that was because he was surrounded by so many hangers-on who didn't have his best interests at heart. I could see there was little upside to his position beyond the obvious privileges, and the three bodyguards that shadowed him didn't seem to allow for much privacy. I remember saying to him, I imagine your life must be genuinely hard, being in such a goldfish bowl. He replied, it definitely has its moments. Prince Harry reportedly told Miss Amani he would love to swap his life with somebody else's to lead a normal life. The Sussexes are widely expected to tackle the issue of privacy in their Netflix program. In the second trailer of their eagerly anticipated Netflix docuseries, Prince Harry reflects on his time inside the firm, saying, It's really hard to look back on it now and go, what on earth happened? The teaser then displays Meghan's rise and fame in the United Kingdom and the couple's wedding in May 2018 in St. George Chapel at Windsor Castle. From there, Everything changed, Prince Harry said. Drawing a parallel between his wife and his mother Diana's media experience, Prince Harry suggests the media's growing scrutiny and sometimes invasive practices have taken a toll on the couple's mental health and ended his mother's life. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.